Hello and welcome to Austin, Texas, one of our favorite stops on the tour. And today, Daryl K. Royal Stadium is packed and revved up, ready to make noise for the Texas Longhorns. Colliding here today, two top 25 teams having tremendous seasons set to battle it out against one another. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, LSU Tigers, taking on the third-ranked team, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kurt Hermstreet. Kurt, let's get to the action on the field. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he'll be tackled after a solid effort on that return. So Texas' offense drives out there to open this game. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, he just holds your breath time because he's been electrified. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans up. Fired into a tight window and picked off. Not much on the return, but the pick will set up the offense at the 35. For the first play of the game, the defense comes up with a turnover. Good job of mixing up their coverages, showing one look, going to another. I think they confused the quarterback. He puts it right into coverage, and they're able to capitalize. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. The back's got it. The sophomore able to bring him down quickly. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down mark. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. Can he make it to the marker? Fighting off the defender. And they pick up the first side of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. Well, that's a good, hard, tough running there to get that first down to keep this drive alive early in this game. The offense really asserting themselves. They're not thinking about a field goal. They're trying to put this ball in the end zone. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. And the freshman making an impact play there. They just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. You missed it. Field goal. No good. No good. With that miss, no change in the score. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Boy, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception in the last drive. I thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Looking to throw it deep. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Well, Chris, obviously, they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, but you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Big gain across midfield all the way down to the 34-yard line. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm. But when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. On first down, it's play action. 
Throws it to the right. A little bit too much air on that throw by the junior quarterback. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. To throw, it's yours. And they heave it deep downfield. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment. But here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, he's un And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. They're going to run the option. He'll pitch it. They got it behind the line. The option fools no one. Getting set. They're second down. So, Kirk, we reached the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story.